I'm Poppin' Moses, and this is Photoshop for Jesus. John 10, 27 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And you know what else a sheep does? They create really cool Photoshop puzzle pieces just like this. Mm-hmm. And this is what I'm going to teach you today. Now let's take a closer look at this. This is no ordinary puzzle piece. As you can see, there's shadow underneath. There's a light source from the right. Right here's a light source. And there's a shadow. And then under, underneath there's a shadow on top of the puzzle. So that makes it look more realistic. Let's look over here. It's the same thing. Shadow. In the background, I have a canvas. I didn't want to just put a plain white background. So. Let's get started. I'll teach you how to make this puzzle piece. And then it'll be fancy. Not just any ordinary puzzle piece. So here we go. First thing you want to do is I'm going to double click on my background so I can unlock it. I'm going to name it Jesus. There we go. It's unlocked. Now what I want to do is I want to command T to transform. I want to make it a little smaller. I'm going to go up to the corner. I'm going to press shift and drag down like so. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to go up to select all. It's going to select all my canvas. Go up, move to my move tool and up on the top right here. I have, um, if you click on this button, it'll align your canvas vertically and this one horizontally. So if I click on those, then my Jesus layer is perfectly centered. Command E to deselect. Next thing we want to do is we're going to create our background. So I'm going to go down here, click on that, create a new layer. I'm going to double click on it, the name, I'm going to name it, rename it background. I'm going to move it to the bottom. I'm going to fill it with white. So option, delete on a Mac. We'll fill your canvas with white, as you can see right over here. You're going to double click on your canvas to bring up your layer styles. You're going to go into textures. You're going to be looking for a texture called canvas. Click on that twice. Scale will be 100 and depth will be 100. If you can't find that, click on that blue tab, then right here, and it's in um, Artist Surfaces. And you'll find it in there. Press OK. And here's your, there's your canvas in the back. That's ready to go. Let's go to, uh, to our Jesus layer. Now, go up to Windows. Select Windows. Right here we have Styles and we have paths. We're going to be using styles and paths. So if you can't find them in your pro in your uh, right over here, here, then this is where you'll look for them. So up here I have styles. On the very right, there's a button. And this is called the puzzle piece button, okay? So if I it's right there, it's like a gray grayish. So I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it adds a puzzle style. Now, I wasn't really satisfied with that. First of all, I think these puzzle pieces are too small. So we can go in and change stuff. And if I look at it from here, it actually looks like the bottom of, of a puzzle piece, not the top. So we can go into our Jesus layer, double click on it to bring up our layer styles. We're going to go into uh, our texture. And um, we're going to have our scale. Well, I'm going to have mine 590. It kind of depends on what you want. Scale, basically, if you lower the scale, you have small puzzle pieces. If you raise the scale, you have larger puzzle pieces. Depends how big your photo is in your canvas. This is good for me. And my depth, well, if you look at a, I'm going to select invert as well. There we go. 
that looks more realistic to me. I think my depth is just, um, I'd say right there, 80 look, looks more realistic. I'm gonna press OK. Alright, next thing you want to do is we want to keep our layer styles, but we don't, we want to keep all this in our layer styles, but we have to get rid of our layer styles. So that didn't make sense, did it? But create a new layer. Okay, go up to your Jesus layer and you're going to merge down Command E. There we go. I'm going to rename that Jesus. As you can see, boy, I don't think Jesus will be happy if I don't know how to spell his name. All right, as you can see, um, we have the same effect, but our layer style styles are gone now. Okay, that's what we need because we're going to add more onto that. So what you want to do from here is you want to select your pen tool and you want to cut out a puzzle. So I'm going to select, let's see, I'm going to select this right over here. Yes, I'm going to select this puzzle. And if you don't know how to use your pen tool, make sure the pen tool is set on paths. If you don't know how to use it, you should learn how to use it. There's many tutorials on um, YouTube showing you how to use it properly. All right, so I'm gonna cut this out. So you can watch. <laughs> um, you know, I wonder why Jesus used sheep as when he said my sheep um, I mean, you know will follow me and they shall know my voice um, you know one of the smartest animals I heard a pastor say this once he said one of the smartest animals in the animal kingdom is a dolphin and men are pretty smart so why didn't God and Jesus say, my dolphin shell, no, my voice? <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. Why did he pick sheep? Um, you see, if anybody knows anything about sheep, sheep are actually very, well, they're very dumb. It's true. If you um, go to any shepherd, the sheep need the shepherd. They, without them, they would die. So was Jesus saying we're dumb? It was God saying no. All He was saying is that, you know, we need we need God. He's, you know, He's our shepherd. So I like that. So anyway, here's your path that you created with your pen tool. You're gonna go over to paths. You can click on that. Oh, I already did two already. So you should have something look like this: work path. Now, if you want to save it, you can click on that twice, and you can save it puzzle. Once you uh, once you rename it, you basically save it, if you ever need that work path again. But from there, you're going to go to the bottom, and you're going to select this right here. Load path as selection. As you can see, it's going to do that. There we go. It loaded our path as a selection. Then you want to go back to layers. Make sure you're on your uh, Jesus layer, and we want to Command J. We'll copy. So what it it took that path from our Jesus layer, and it copied it up on top. All right. So I'm gonna rename that. I'm gonna name that puzzle. Now you want to put your cursor on top of your thumbnail, your puzzle piece. Press Command. You'll see a box, and you want to click. When you Command click, it loads the selection in the canvas in your in here. So then you want to click on your uh, Jesus after that. Let me uncheck here so I can show you. Click on your Jesus, you want to press delete. And it'll delete that. So command D to deselect. So basically what we did is we duplicated it and then we loaded it, went back down and deleted it. Okay? So what we want to do from here here it is. I want to press V for my move tool and I just want to move that Oh, excuse me. Make sure you're on your puzzle layer after that. You want to move that puzzle piece somewhere. Like so. Okay. I want to 
Command T to transform. I don't want it to be perfectly straight. Uh, about there, and I press enter. And that's about it for the puzzle piece. As you can see though, it's just not quite enough. We, we need some shadowing and stuff. That's not very hard to do. Let's go to our puzzle piece, double click on that. It'll bring up our layer styles. It's a uh, select bevel and boss. All right, our style will be inner bevel. I think all of this should be good. Inner bevel smooth, our depth is 100. Our size is five. Our soften though, we want to, is it our inner bevel? Yes, our soften is gonna be moved all the way up to 16. Our angle, my angle is 30 and 30. So you should probably do that as well. Use global lighting, so everything should be fine. You can see here it is. Now you wanna go up to, and that's for the top of the puzzle piece. So let's go to our uh, drop shadow. Let's select that. We want to do multiply, opacity 75. Our angle is 30, same as the other. Use global lighting is checked. Our distance is 10, so we can change that to 10. And our size will be 10. And our spread is zero. As you can see, there's our shadow. Press OK. And as you can see, if I move that up to a brighter area, that we have that shadow. Now, basically, what you want to do is cut out a bunch of puzzle pieces, do the same, you know, as many as you want, and then you merge them all together. And then you, add, and then you do this shadow effect. Now we're going to do the same thing for our Jesus layer, but instead of going in and clicking all everything and changing, we're just going to very simply select our puzzle piece, press control click, and go down to copy layer style. Click on that, select in our Jesus layer, control click, go down and we're going to do paste layer style. And there we go. Everything up here, we we'll space it down there, and there it is. And that's about it. And that's how you do a puzzle piece. And I think it looks great. And the back canvas looks good. So, yeah. I'm Papa Moses, and this is Photoshop for Jesus. And you guys take care. I'll catch you on my next tutorial.